we as a culture are so obsessed on protein and protein powders, and we love protein powders, and protein matters, without a doubt. It is so relevant. But we know in humans, when you add fat to that protein, it helps the protein work better. Mm. This was a study that looked at muscle protein synthesis. When they gave work exercising men a protein load, muscle protein synthesis was significantly increased. When they gave them a balance, a one-to-one -one by mass of protein and fat, there was a significant effect even beyond just the protein alone. Mm. So it's almost like these foods that always come together, these macronutrients, they were designed to come together. In nature, you all if you're looking at for protein, you always get fat with it. Uh, there is no exception to this. The best proteins will always have fat coming along with it. And I think there's something kind of genius about it and, and it, where they work, it works to better together. It's funny that you mentioned that about the muscle protein synthesis yeah. and what a lot of bodybuilders do now is like spend 60, 80 bucks on a weight, strip down whey isolate. What's totally devoid of any fat. Yep. It's just the denature, you know, the extracted, you know, yep. protein. And they're, they're wondering why they're hungry or yeah. they have oh. issues or. Oh yeah. Not to mention hunger. I mean, that is, there, there is a downside as much as I am an advocate of prioritizing protein. If you're doing that at the expense of, of fat, I believe in particular, you are starting to. Uh, you are circumventing normal human nutrition, and and, and someone could and, and I would say that meat is the perfect example. Meat and eggs to me represent this beautiful mix of of fat and protein together. Chicken doesn't play by the same rules, and tellingly, we never used to eat chicken. This was not uh, this was not a meat source in, for our ancestors. We had chickens for the eggs. Now, if you look at chicken consumption, it went from almost nothing a hundred years ago to being like maybe the single highest source of protein in the diet. Um, I think as much as I love chicken, mm -hmm. eating them, namely, um, I, I do think that if you are focusing your protein on just chicken, you are going to be devoid of, of fats. And and frankly, you may be um, mitigating the anabolic effects of that protein. Protein is supposed to come with fat, so eat it that way. I love that. And having, we have about 45, 50 chickens at my house right now. That's awesome. Um, and my dad likes chicken, so we, we, I ha harvested two roosters, and mm -hmm. they tasted so different, yeah. which is where I'm going with this, is it's really easy to, to control and artificially manipulate chicken's environment, whereas with cattle, yeah. you know, even the feedlot stuff, they still have to get out there and graze. And so that's why I'm not a huge fan of chicken. I love eggs like you, yep. have them pretty much every single day. I love the yolks and everything, but I yep. don't eat a lot of chicken meat because unless it's mine or yeah, I know I the farmer. It. That's awesome. Because you can put them in a concrete facility. They never see dirt. They never never touch bugs. Yep. Yep. All chickens do all day is dig for bugs or they lay out in the sun. Man, well, they, they're omnivores. Right. That's right. Yeah. So we, we really, I mean, I'll never forget this little video watching with my kids. You see a, a cat like playing with a mouse uh -huh. and the chicken just comes out of nowhere, grabs the mouse, like snatches it from the cat's paws and then oh. eats that little mouse Amazing. in seconds. Yeah. I mean, these are little dinosaur beasts that totally. are going to eat whatever they can get their hands on. They're savage. I mean, yeah, if, if I put like a piece of meat out there or salmon, they'll just tear it up. And in fact, yeah, yeah. they'll tear the other chickens. Like they, they're really food competitive, you know, like <laughs> they'll peck at the other ones and cause bleeding and all that. So anyway, yeah, that was, I'm telling you, they're little dinosaurs, man. They are.